what are the key components of the rotor CVT? Well, first of all, the heart of the rotor CVT is a rotor. The rotor is directly coupled to the power source, engine or an electric motor. Then as the rotor rotates, it um, moves the followers up and down. It's one follower on top and another one at the bottom. The followers act on a rocker arm. So as the rotor rotates, the rocker arms oscillate, one here and one at the bottom. And then the rocker arms are coupled to the output gears via a one-way clutch or a sprag. So these output gears take turns in driving the output. If I want to adjust the ratio, I just move the rotor in an actual direction and that changes the amplitude of oscillation and changes the output speed. As I adjust it, you will notice that the output speed is decreasing and eventually will, will um, come to a standstill. Reducing in speed. And there you can see it is, it is stationary. Um, this point is called gear neutral because the output is zero and the input is still running. Fantastic. So um, what differentiates the rotor CVT from current CVTs used, used in the market? Well, first of all, the, uh, the rotor CVT does not use a dynamic friction interface. All commercial CVTs does. Um, the rotor CVT instead uses a ratcheting principle which uh, provides a very high mechanical uh, um, efficiency. And second of all, the uh, hydraulic control systems in current commercial CVTs is very heavy and expensive. So it eliminates that and that gives you a cost as well as a, a weight advantage. And where can the geared motor rotor CVT be applied? Well, the current version of the rotor CVT can be applied to any um, application in the geared motor industry. For example, to um, start up a conveyor or to drive a conveyor. And what are the market advantages of the geared motor rotor CVT over conventional CVTs used in geared motor applications? Well, first of all, because of its geared neutral feature, uh, the electric motor driving the rotor CVT can be running at constant speed and the rotor CVT can pick up the load. That is very important because it eliminates the the current spike usually <coughs> associated with uh, electric motors starting up under load. Then second of all, the rotor CVT features a built-in reduction capability. So usually in a geared motor application, um, uh, conventional application, the, the rotor CVT implementation will eliminate a reduction gearbox. And then thirdly, the rotor CVT has got quite, quite high mechanical efficiency, uh, therefore losses are minimal. So if I understand correctly, um, the recent patent associated with Rotor CVT was granted in 2016 and the portfolio of Rotor CVT patents are protected in 13 countries globally. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. And what are the next steps for Verybox with this invention? Well, currently Verybox is looking for an industry partner um, to commercialize the, the Rotor CVT in whichever applicable um, application. Um, Verybox business model is an IP licensing business model, so we don't get involved in manufacturing. Um, our licensees or potential partner will uh, have exclusive rights to use our technology, and Verybox will provide engineering services, um, simulations, um, etc. in the developing phase. And uh, once manufacturing starts, um, Verybox will earn royalties on the manufactured units. Thank you, Jan, for your input. Um, we look forward to seeing what you do with the Rotor CBT going forward. Thank you. Thank you very much.